Hi guys, GB News were on the streets of Bromley interviewing people about the ULES expansion there. Now this issue has become extremely polarizing, or at least that's what the right-wing media have presented it as such. Now the host Patrick Christie, to his credit, also spoke to people who understand the value of fighting air pollution. Here a lady called Parissa explained to the channel why she supports the expansion, but she also explained the paradoxical position that some anti-ULES protesters have taken. Have a listen to this. A, a concerned mother here, Parissa, Parissa Rye. Um, now, you are pro-ULES, aren't you? So why? Well, I have a three and an eight-year-old. And I basically care about all the children in Bromley, all the children in London who are struggling with asthma. But also, I know lots of elderly people here in Bromley who are being hospitalised on a monthly basis because they live in the pockets of area with bad air quality. And also we talk about how this is clobbering the poorest, right? But some of my friends in Lewisham Borough, over 50% of the people there don't even own a car. And yet they have to deal with really poor air quality and the very poorest can't afford a car so when we talk about the poorest who are we talking about i do believe though like i've got friends who are like struggling now because they need their car to get to work and they haven't upgraded yet and i do think they do need more help i think there's a problem with the sort of scheme of supporting them wonderful speech wonderful perfect i couldn't have said it couldn't have said it better myself now, let's start with the end bit uh the the number of people who want to upgrade their car, who need to upgrade their car in order to avoid this £12.50 daily charge. Um, we're talking about a very small percentage, about nine, over 90% of cars are actually ULES compliant. So they will not be charged. We're talking about a very small percentage. Now, when it comes to upgrading these cars, it costs money. But this is money that the government were, has promised the Mayor of London. Now, if they're not delivering, that's the Tories, not the Mayor of London, if the, the Tories are not delivering this money to help people upgrade, then they can't blame the, the Mayor of London here. But to the main point, she said here, she has two kids. She's concerned about them. She doesn't want them to develop breathing problems like asthma. She, she's worried about people in the local community, especially the elderly and vulnerable people. This is about them. This is about protecting the most vulnerable people in the city. Like, the people who are protesting you know, against this, they haven't provided an alternative. They haven't said, this is what we should do instead to, pr to improve air quality. They just say, we don't want this. We don't want an expansion. We don't want you less. We don't want clean air in a sense. Some of them think this isn't about clean air. This is just a tax grab. This is just about uh, Sadi Khan trying to fill his pockets or something. They're, present, they're not presenting an alternative. They're not saying this is what we should do instead. They're just saying this is nothing to do with pollution. It's just about uh, a tax on drivers. And of course, well, you know, it's, it's not really a tax on drivers because people can upgrade their car. They can get support to upgrade their cars. So who are we talking about here? Who is actually going to be paying this charge? This is... Once again, it's really, it's really sad and depressing when you have somebody trying to do something good, like Sadi Khan, who's trying to improve air quality. He should be receiving support from at least the Labour Party. They seem to have thrown him under a bus in some sense. But he should be, support, should be supported from all, by all politicians. This is good for the people of Britain. This is good for the people of London and this constituency. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.